shooter exclusive investigation. This is video of a robbery suspect. The 11 year old alleged victim telling police she recognized him, telling them that the suspect seen here is also a student at her elementary school, a registered fifth grader. This is Wave News at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. John Bull is off. Sources tell us that they believe that the suspect is at least 17 years old, definitely not a young elementary school student. Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez joins us live with what she found out after JCPS declined to say anything about this. This was old school reporting. I tracked down the family and sat in their kitchen furious at JCPS. They told me just look at the video and ask yourself if this suspect looks like a 10 year old kid. This is video of a robbery suspect in an orange ski mask who the alleged victim's family and multiple law enforcement sources say was posing as a fifth grader at JCPS's Goldsmith Elementary. The family of the alleged victim now furious. They provided videos, including this one, the little girl coming home from school, her pink backpack still on. That's when they say the suspect cornered her, grabbed at her and stole her cell phone. Here he is taking off same orange mask. The girl's parents run after him. But here's where the investigation takes a turn. The alleged victim recognizing him as a fifth grader at her school, Goldsmith Elementary, a school known to have a large refugee student population. The family speaks only Spanish, but told me just look at the video and see if he looks like a fifth grader to you. LMPD did make an arrest. The family and multiple law enforcement sources say they believe he's at least 17 years old. The paperwork showing his true age and what was used to register him as a fifth grade student is still up in the air. When I asked JCPS Friday, their spokesperson said, I have no information on this. I followed up saying I'd gathered more information. On Monday, JCPS said they couldn't comment on a particular student, but that JCPS follows enrollment guidelines based on the paperwork families guardians provide. The family wants to know though exactly what paperwork was provided and says the district should have used common sense. The suspect even rode the school bus. I'm still looking into what the law says families have to provide the school district when registering a student. Stay tuned. Natalia Martinez, Wave News. All right, thank you so much, Natalia.